welcome to Let's Meet Abroad. We are Adi and Nero. And if you already know us for a bit longer, you might have noticed that we love hiking. And because we live in the Netherlands, of course we couldn't skip the most famous long distance hike in Europe, the Tour de Mont Blanc. The Tour de Mont Blanc is about 170 kilometers long and has over 10 kilometers vertical gain and loss, which means completing this trek requires more vertical kilometers than the height of Mount Everest. Another really cool thing, the Tour de Mont Blanc crosses France, Switzerland and Italy. So you cross these borders by foot. Apparently we already crossed the border. I thought it would be like a big thing, you know, like flags on both sides. But it's just somewhere there. It's just somewhere here. I don't know where. We are excited to share this trek with you. So join us on our first day of Tour de Mont Blanc in Chamonix, France. Good morning from La Souche. <laughs> from the Rocket Pop Hotel we are staying. And as you can see, maybe uh, uh, yeah, all the mess around me, we are packing our bags. And it takes some thinking, and yeah, you don't want to take too much. Oh, what we did last year. Now, first things, we're gonna have some breakfast, and we'll make sure that we have more than enough for the entire day. So, we're done with first round. So, Adi has this hack here. They have this caramel spread and this chocolate spread. And he's mixing it and he's just eating oh, it like this. So nice. And he's addicted. Okay, last bite. It's the moment of truth. How heavy is the bag? I'm really nervous. If it's too heavy, if it's above 10, I have to take stuff out and I don't know what. 10.2! <gasps> so that means no energy bars. Uh oh. Mine is. 10.11 that was 11 and then i my camera is also maybe one and a half kilo so this is how our backpack looks as compared to last time we're gonna leave our car and hopefully we don't get robbed but there's a lots of cars here and some of them some people are doing tour de mont blanc some people are just doing a day hike so yeah so we're not even one second into the track and i'm already deciding to take some stuff out but maybe I get too excited because it's so warm now. You can explain this. Maybe we have to take you one year back to a bit of an awkward moment in our lives. Last year, we also made the exciting plan to do the Tour de Mont Blanc. Our plan was to stay in refugios, but we would mostly camp around the trail. So we packed our bags and headed towards France. But our packing was not very smart. Peanut butter, oats. More oats, coffee. And carrying all the filming gear also didn't help. Result, our backpack looked something like this. On our first day, we walked about 24 kilometers in a very difficult terrain. And of course, it was raining. Quickly, we discovered that we made a mistake. Our backpacks were just too heavy. So 22 kilos. 22, shit. So we had to make a difficult decision. It might be a really smart idea to stop this, to stop the track. Since that day, this mistake is following us. But luckily this summer, we were able to plan this track again, but with a twist. More people do Tour de Mont Blanc anti-clockwise. However, we decided to do this trek clockwise because of two reasons. We booked the trek end May. Instead of one year before what every does, we decided to book our trek one month ago and it was possible. Uh, but the only, uh, yeah, the only thing we had to go clockwise, but we prefer that even more because you will run into less people when you do it clockwise. I think, so that we will see. So tonight we're staying in Le Flagere. And it is possible to go from Les Houches there uh, to Le Flagere, but it's a really long hike and we don't want to make the same mistake as last year, so we decided to uh, take the cable car from Charmony to uh, Brevant and hike from there to make the first day a bit easier, so yeah, we don't uh, lose all our hopes on the first day. So we are taking the cable car all the way up there to Brevant, or Le Brevant, and it is 26 euros per person one way. So we already spent 52 euros and we got some lunch. We did our trip in September. It was, I think, maybe 10 degrees uh, less, less warmer. And this time it's so warm, so warm. Just when we get out of the lift, you see like all beautiful villages, nice, crazy deep valleys. Yeah, so pretty. First step of Tour de Mont Blanc. Um, Nira, you're injured, let's go back. No, I'm so lazy. <laughs> We just 
10 minutes into the hike and already their signs are bad. I'm really curious, now we're in France, if the signs are getting better in Switzerland. Or maybe in Italy, maybe Italy has the best signs, we'll see. It's so cold. It's so amazing that it just, I'm really wondering how long it will take to melt. Because it is super warm here. So we here found a nice place to poop. I'm stuck on the ice. Now I know why people say take crampons. It's super slippery, you cannot take any step, but I have to go there. Try to bring your stick here. Yeah. Fuck. Not put the sticks there. Really. So how do I go? Oh, yes. Yeah. That's it? Okay. This was the actual path. And we took this path. So smart. Oh. So, <laughs> funny thing, I took this decathlon bag because the other day we were also picnicking somewhere and I was sitting in a poopy. And I don't want to do that again. Mm. So we got our lunch from a nice bakery in Chamonix. Mmm, really nice. Yeah. Mm. With bakery stuff you can't go wrong in France. Like we barely have started the walk and look look behind us. It is insane. And Mira is making a lot of photos. So if you haven't uh, followed us on Instagram, go follow us because we also share a lot of tips in our post and also in our stories. And if you think, oh, the stories might be gone by now, we also make a highlight, a Tour de Mont Blanc, where of course we save all the stories with all of our tips. So you can always look back. We found the Mont Blanc. It's over there, this one. I don't know if you can see it with my stick. Adi will put an arrow. It's the one in the middle there. I think we've seen it already the whole time, but we just asked someone and they said, yeah, that's the Mont Blanc. So we found some blueberries, or I hope that they are blueberries. If not, then... If not, then we still have to... So the one way to find out. A bit sour, ooh. So that is where we have to go. We are so lucky with the weather. Now we are almost about to reach to the refugio. But yeah, on this route you would see a lot of day hikers because from where we started and from where we're gonna end, you can always take a lift down to Chamonix. But I think from tomorrow and so on, we wouldn't be seeing a lot of day hikers, probably. We are here. Behind me is the Refugio La Flegere and we made it. It was a really easy, chill hike. I do think if you do it anti-clockwise and you come from this one and you go back to Les Rouges, it's a bit more tough. It's pretty steep up. And I think if you go all the way to Les Rouges from here, that's too long. Just take the cable car down to Chamonix to make your life a bit easier and fun. So now I'm really curious how the Revigio will look. Revigio? Revigio, the first Revigio we will, Revigio we will stay in. So we're just two minutes in and we already have to take off our shoes uh, and leave our sticks here and after that you're allowed to go to the room. So... Lots of food. Oh, your food you also have to leave here. Good, I think it's really good. So uh, yeah, you have to take some slippers. We are in the dorms. And it's Looks like, like a, a prison really, cell. Really old building, like everything makes sounds. But I'm happy we're sleeping up because if you sleep down then you hear all the sounds from all the other people. And it's like, oh, it's really big. So many beds. Oh, here we have a few on the mountain. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And there's some toilets there. So there's a nice shower. 
Yeah, really hang your stock next to it. Yeah, it's a nice store, right? Nice space. Yeah. So we just got a starter and it's a really nice healthy salad. I'm really happy with that. I was afraid that we won't have any veggies uh, on this track, but the star's good. I think it's boring. I am really happy. So we got our main, uh, it's like a potato with cheese and some salad and it's, we are vegetarian so we get salad and all the meat eaters they get some meat! Look at this guy! The world is so unfair! <laughs> Could have been worse! Yeah. <laughs> And look what we have for dessert and before this we got a cheese plate. So we got the potato cheese plate and now chocolate balls. It's super good. We have to taste it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it nice? Chocolate is good. Chocolate never goes wrong. So uh, we just finished our dinner which was really good, four courses. And uh, then we paid, we paid for this, uh, for this Vervigio, we paid 62 per person. Uh, and that makes us like 124 together. And we also took some Mars, uh, that was four euros. So in total today we spent 128 plus 52 for the lifts, 14 for lunch. That's it, right? That's, uh, and uh, <laughs> if this is the first video you will watch, this is the first day. In every, on every day we will say how much we spend, so you have a little bit of an idea, like uh, how much money you have to take or how much money you have to save to do this trip yourself. Now we are sitting here enjoying the beautiful view of these mountains. It's really cool. I'm just waiting for the sun to set, maybe. And with this we come to an end for our first day in Tour de Mont Blanc. It's already amazing. In the next episode, we'll be heading further to Argentier and of course with a stop at the most beautiful lake in Tour de Mont Blanc. If you don't want to miss out on our upcoming adventure, subscribe to our channel and please give a like if you enjoyed the video. It really helps us making more of them. We'll be happy to see you in the next one.